Exercise is the most powerful tool to optimize your brain. Exercise makes you smarter and mentally tough. Exercise changes your world. Hi, and welcome back to UQ. Today, I'm talking about the book Spark, the revolutionary new science of exercise and the brain, written by John Ratey. John Ratey is a professor at Harvard Medical School, and in his book Spark, he talks about the tremendous benefits of exercise for our brain that are backed up by scientific studies. There are so many great books out there. They make you feel good after reading them, but reading by itself doesn't change your life. You need to take action. I believe the greatest books are those that make you change your behavior for the better, change your view of the world, or improve your quality of life. And this book is one of those books. If you suffer from chronic stress, anxiety, or depression, or if you want to be smarter and you want to improve your productivity, or if you have a child with ADHD, or if you are suffering from PMS or menopause, or if you are worried about dementia, this book is definitely for you. Everyone knows exercise is good for our physical health, right? We know we have to do exercise to stay in shape or lose a few pounds, but we don't think much about its benefits on our brain. We never say, I started running because I have a big exam coming up, or I started to go to the gym to improve my productivity. But in reality, there's a strong connection between body and mind. So exercise is crucial for both physical and mental fitness. By doing exercise, you'll be smarter and you can even become a nicer person. The book makes us realize how beneficial exercise is for our brain and makes us want to actually do more exercise. In this video, I'll talk about the benefits of exercise first and why exercise is beneficial. There are so many benefits, but I will focus on three topics. One, exercise can make you smarter. Two, exercise can make you mentally tougher. Three, exercise can make you more focused. And then I'm going to explain what sort of exercise is best to improve our brain performance. When you finish watching this video, I'm sure you will want to go for a run or a walk, but to make it a habit, I recommend you read this book. Let's get started. To begin with, let's look at how exercise can affect our brain. The first benefit of exercise is that it makes us smarter. When we exercise, the level of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, is increased. BDNF nourishes neurons like fertilizer and balances the neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. As a result, our brain functions at its best. At Naperville Central High School, some students were struggling with English literacy, but the school decided to explore the benefits of exercise and required those students to attend the exercise program. It was called Zero Hour PE because it was done before other classes started. As a result, those students who attended Zero Hour PE performed better in school. The program made Naperville students fitter and smarter and eventually Naperville Central High School students ranked number one on the science section of the Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study, TIMSS, and number six on the math section, well above the average American high schoolers. Clearly, exercise improves our brain's abilities and capabilities to make us smarter, but there are many more benefits. The second benefit of that exercise can make us mentally tough or tougher. You can beat stress and lift your mood by doing exercise. When we exercise, certain molecular byproducts of the brain's metabolism damage brain cells, but then during the repair process, the cells get tougher, making the brain more resilient to stress. Not only exercise works as an antidote to stress, but it is also a great tool to battle anxiety, panic attacks, or depression. Whether you are just feeling down or suffering from depression, exercise can improve depressive symptoms. In a study on people with moderate depression, which was conducted by Dr. James Blumenthal, the subjects were divided into four groups. One group was given increased doses of antidepressant. One group was given medication plus exercise. One was just assigned exercise and one placebo group. After four weeks, all groups that were given medication or exercise had the same mood elevating results. So they found that exercise was as effective as medication when treating moderately depressed people. The third benefit of exercise is that it can improve your focus and attention. When you exercise, neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin are produced. They enhance mood and motivation and hone your focus. 
This is a very beneficial byproduct of exercise which probably came from an evolutionary reason that enhanced focus was required to hunt and gather for food. Not only does our focus improve right after exercise, but it improves our brain functions to focus in the long term. If you exercise regularly, your concentration will improve. Exercise can also help ADHD kids focus better too. Our ancestors were movers. Our world has changed so much, but human brains have not evolved that quickly. Our bodies are built for physical activity, but our energy expenditure per unit of body mass is less than 38% of our Stone Age ancestors. Society has changed so much, but our brain and body are more or less stuck in the Stone Age, and they are built to move. So the brain works at its best when we exercise. So how much and what sort of exercise is good to boost our brain function? Essentially, the more the better. The more you exercise, the greater your brain's ability to learn thanks to those neurotransmitters and growth factors being produced. In this day and age, most people are not at risk of over-exercising. It's best to exercise every day and in the morning since it prepares your body physically and mentally for the day ahead. The heart rate must be elevated for aerobic exercise and a duration of at least 30 minutes for each session will provide significant benefit. However, even 10 minutes per day of stretching, jumping jacks, or body weights in general will provide benefits. Okay, let's summarize what we've learned today. Exercise is crucial for our physical and mental health, and it improves our brain functions and capabilities. There are tremendous benefits of exercise. Today, I focused on three benefits of exercise that are, one, exercise makes us smarter. It improves our brain's capabilities to learn. Two, Exercise makes us mentally tougher. It improves our mood, helps us beat stress, and even helps us combat anxiety or depression. And three, exercise improves our focus. It has short-term and long-term effects. It improves behavior of kids with ADHD as well. The book is packed with information and talks about other benefits such as preventing memory loss, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, PMS, and menopause. Not only does the book talk about the benefits, it also explains precisely how and why it works, and it definitely motivates you to exercise more. So my recommendation is that you read it and do more exercise. You could listen to the audiobook while walking as well. Today I talked about the book Spark by John Rayty. If you liked the video, please like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.